Hello, beautiful and handsome Scorpios, and welcome to my channel, A Hummingbird Tarot. Today I'm going to be channeling your springtime energy um, from Spirit and give you some insight about what's going on for your spring and what your energy is going to um, produce or areas in your life that uh, you need to focus on. Um, also, I'm going to be doing a yes or no question for you. So if you have a question for Spirit that it's a yes or no, answer to please hold that in your mind during your reading and i will pull a card for you at the end for your question okay also um i was listening to a song for you when i was focusing on your reading and uh the song that came on is where's my love by s y m l and i'll be putting that that song in your link below in the description box below if you want to check that out and basically what my feeling was when i was listening to that song is that you know that you are having a hard time tapping into your love energy um, maybe you have been feeling dead inside a little bit um, unable to connect with that loving energy that you guys are so good at cultivating. So maybe you're feeling a little bit, you know, like quite not quite yourselves in that regard. So let's see what spirit does have to say about it. Um, but that was my feeling when I was listening to the song. Perhaps for some of you, you know, it's about not being able to connect to your partner, your romantic partner. Okay, so I'm feeling this card is coming out here for you. And we have relationships. So relationships for you, my beautiful Scorpios, may have been, been difficult for you lately. Going through some stressful time of change. Um, I'm also going to put this carnelian here. Carnelian is great for helping to heal the sacral chakra, which this card is related to. We have the number 12 and the number three from 12. So if any of those numbers are connecting to you, you can go ahead and look those up and see uh, how they can relate to this reading if you'd like to do that. So I'm feeling for you this card. It could be about relationships, um, romantic relationships, um, parental relationships, friendships, anything that is you know, you're having a difficult time with in, in that relationships. And with that song, Where's My Love, you know, it might be something within your own heart that you're having a hard time connecting to others in the way that you would like to express yourself, your love. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read from the book on this one because, you know, it this can go many ways for different people coming to this reading since it is a um, you know, a general reading. So whatever, hold on to whatever resonates for you guys, essentially. So for relationships, it's all about the sacral chakra, like I said, and the carnelian stone is great for that. Um, you have tr attracted this card into your awareness today as it is a powerful time and opportunity to deepen your relationships. Relationships are the way we connect to all things in our world, not just people that could be a relationship with yourself, your partner, your family, friends, pets, creative projects, your home, and your community. See, so, so many aspects are related to this and the, your relationship to the things in your life. Um, for things to grow, expand, and to be healthy, your relationships need to be fed and nurtured. Now is a good time to see what bonds require some more love and attention and assess the ones that are not so healthy for you at this time. What awareness is required to shift the energy around any challenging relationship? What do you need to assess or what do you need to express for this relationship to heal? Whether this card relates to your intimate relationships or relationships in general, Know that there is great opportunity for growth and connection through connection through relationships. We learn about you learn about yourself and others. 
They are an integral and important part of your life's journey. Our relationships teach, teach and mirror many traits back to us. Sometimes this reflection is hard to accept. However, when you are willing to see yourself honestly and work positively with your behavior, then there is huge opportunity for growth. The key is to accept and love every aspect of yourself and set yourself free from judgment and limitation. There is an abundance of love and healing that comes with solid, fulfilling relationships. Take time to nurture your relationships. Put in the energy to allow them to grow and expand into beautiful friendships of deeper connections. It is also a powerful time to create a long-lasting, healthy relationship with yourself and be your new best friend. Now, for those of you who want to meditate on this, um, an affirmation for you would be, my relationships are aligned with my highest good and my soul's purpose. Okay, that is a beautiful card. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull some tarot to help um, us understand better what's going on with you and your relationships. Spirit, can you please give us some more understanding for our Scorpios about how relationships are affecting their lives? Give us some guidance. Okay. I'm there we have Justice, the Knight of Cups, the Emperor, so wow, some strong cards are coming out for you. And I'm feeling this card here. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, my Scorpios. First of all, we have Justice and Balance. So he's got the sword in one hand and the scales in the other. Something is coming into balance for you guys right now, and justice will be served in this in this current situation. Um, what they might look like, Spirit wants you to keep an open mind. Um, what that balance and justice in your life is happening now. Maybe the things that you are putting out are coming back to you with this justice now. Also, you know, if you're in a legal situation, this could be justice happening for you within that legal system or um, just a balancing out. Like, so say someone has been treating you a certain way um, and behaving in a way, you know, that's been hurting you. Right now, spirit is balancing this out for people in their lives. And this person is going to get a taste of what it feels like to have that done to them. So this has been happening in our lives, my life, my, me and my husband. We've been going through a lot of this balancing, you know, where you see the other perspective. You see the other person's perspective. And it goes along with this mirroring here. You know, um, we... We react to things that that happen in our lives um, when it cuts close to home, when it feels or we, we have a shadow aspect of ourselves that we see displayed in another, um, we have an adverse reaction to that. Like, I don't like what I'm seeing in this person because it reminds me of something I don't like about myself. So right now, justice is happening for people. You know, if you've been treated a certain way by someone or, you know, let's say, for instance, we have a cheating spouse that they are going to, they're going to come up against a, this place within themselves where they're seeing someone being attracted to you. Not that you necessarily have to do anything like this, but there's... They're having these jealousy feelings that are kind of attacking them right now as a way for them to feel what they've put you through. And this is, I'm feeling this strongly for you guys. 
um, because there is this passionate, um, you know, maybe someone in your life is, you know, kind of being flirtati flirtatious with you. Um, there's, there's this love of art and beauty happening here with this Knight of Cups. Let's see. Um, and then with the Emperor, there's, you know, issues of, of, around boundaries. The Emperor is the keeper of boundaries and strong foundations. So, and then with the Queen of Pentacles, she is patient. She's waiting for the bounty that is within her that she has created to take flower. So it's in the springtime of, you know, and she's sitting on her throne. We have the rabbit and that, that energy of, um, creation of birthing something new that the earth is coming back to life here within her. And she is, she is a nurturer. Um, the protector of the material realm. She waits patiently for things to come into fruition, this abundance to come to her. And she does it without fear. Um, she's strong in that. So with the emperor, the knight of cups, let me think, the knight of cups is definitely a Scorpio energy here. It also could be Cancer and Pisces, but also, yeah. So he is all about this fulfillment within yourself and coming into healing. There's inspiration within the Knight of Cups. Um, and moving forward and seeing that this justice is happening for you, it's you're coming into healing because of this balance that's happening in your life. And you're able to set strong boundaries and know that you can stand strong in that. This is Aries energy with the empire with the emperor. And um, he's, he's strong and he knows his place. He does it with confidence and um, power within him. You know, he, and it's masculine energy, it's father type energy, and then we have this mother type energy over here. It's not as strong as maybe the Empress card would be, but um, so dominion, power within the emperor. So you're coming, you've gotten justice, you're healing through this process with passion, with and with your heart intact. And now you're you're setting these strong foundations. Also this could be um, a masculine energy in your life, but someone who's strong and, and um but he's able to control the chaos and bring calmness back into a situation. He's a leader, protector, provider. Um, and then with the queen of pentacles, like I said, she's a nurturer, um, the bringer of life. She is, you know, abundant and she, she is, you know, she does this on her own she comes into her own power and embraces that power within herself to get to create but she does it in a spirit of um a spirit of patience she's she's planted the garden and she is watching it grow now and is patiently waiting for the things to come to her with prosperity and security and like i said this is mother type energy and nurturing energy here okay and with that i'm going to go ahead and pull some other tarot to clarify so again we have the knight of wands the page of wands so a lot of court cards here for you a lot of major arcana. Okay, I feel like 
this card. Oh. Three of Swords. And more Wands. The Three of Wands. Okay, so the Knight of Wands is, you know, fast-moving energy, of a passionate energy. And the Page of Wands is um, also like a renewal of um, your passion and being confident in your your way ahead. So you're, and then you're seeing things with the Three of Wands about being expansive, um, seeing things from a new perspective. But in the middle of this, we have heartbreak. Um, so there is some healing that needs to be done, but know that justice has been served here in this situation. So, and it fell underneath the emperor here. So something here, some sort of boundary has been crossed. You know, your foundation has been shaken and you're, you're having some pain in this aspect of your life. Um, but know that the, with the Knight of Wands being in the justice, that this is fast, justice is happening quickly here with passion, with determination, um, with getting things done that need to be taken care of. So the, with the Knight of Wands, um, Spirit is saying it's time to think outside the box, going for, with, for a journey. Um, being adventurous, being open to, to new things here with the Three of Wands and the, the Knight of Wands. Um, trusting your instincts here and know that perfection is an illusion with the Knight of Wands here and we don't need to have perfection in this situation. Um, embracing that and trusting your instincts, um, but being open. So letting go, knowing that balance and justice is happening for you. Um, and like I said, expanding yourself right now and with the Page of Wands this is calling you for that as well, more here, because we have the Knight of Cups and the, the Page of Wands. Um, there's this element of this free spirit within, this passionate, visionary, free spirit here that is waiting to come out. You see things for what they truly are. Your visions, your intuition is right on. Um, Also, be there's fickle energy here as well. So just be cautious with that. You know, once you commit to a path, you know, be a finisher here. Um, and but do it with passion. Um, don't let st stubborn energy get in your way with this. You want to do it with the purity of your heart, passion, trust your vision, trust your intuition. Um, there's transformation and a spiritual breakthrough happening with this connection here. And this heartbreak, you're stepping away from it and expanding yourself. You've, be, you've become patient and knowing and nurturing to yourself, to your others. There's like a, a home life here that you've been cultivating. You're, you're in your nest. You've created this beautiful place, but now it's time to get out and expand yourself into what is new, what is coming to you. It's time to step out of that nurturing garden, that beautiful garden, and see the world for what it is. Um, you're, you're still looking for... A, maybe support from others here. 
but it's time for you to take the journey on your own and trust your own vision and insight in this situation. So trusting yourself, stepping outside of this sacred space that you've created, the safe place, and getting out back out into the world with all that you've gained from your going inward. It's a time to move forward here with the Knight of Cups moving off into the distance. You have another Knight, which is about movement, about getting out into the world, um, expanding your mind, healing from this heartbreak, because this is all about healing and trusting in your intuition um, and knowing that this solid foundation is going to carry you through and get you out of this. It's mo about more healing going on. Um, and this fixed energy here, you know, um, don't let it break your heart anymore. Let it go, heal from that, and take your spirit, go for your spiritual journey. It's time to go out and see things expand yourself, do things that you normally don't do anymore. Um, and how does this relate here to your relationships and bring this in, you know, you might have had a, you know, a very stubborn relationship here that broke your heart for some of you. Um, but like I said, there's healing and love and joy here as well. This white knight energy, this knight of wands energy here is opening your heart back up to expanding yourself with passion. So in your, in your relationships, it's about trusting in your instincts and people, um, trusting in yourself to know that you are protected to have strong boundaries, to it's okay to say no in situations, and um, you know, really don't have guilt about doing that. Being patient, nurturing yourself, and ex going out and expanding your world in a new way, um, opening yourself up to perhaps new relationships that are going to be coming in, but also continuing to nurture. The relationships that are serving you now in your new journey here this journey of expansion this journey of love this journey of whatever your passion is i'm not seeing clearly what that passion is for you but maybe some more oracle cards will help so i'm going to go ahead and pull a botanical oracle We have Venice Mallow and Nostratium, Nostratium, Nostratium. <laughs> if you know a better way of saying that, please let me know. So we have a delicate fleeting beauty here with the Venice Mallow. Mallow. When life is not coming up roses, look to the weeds and find the beauty hidden within them. So just finding the beauty within the little things in your life, finding the beauty within the relationships in your life and nurturing that. And you have Nostratium, Nostratium <laughs> with victory and conquest. He who controls others may be powerful, but he who has mastered himself is mightier still. So looking within yourself is going to give you victory and conquest because knowing yourself and how you handle situations and the relationships in your life, um, you're doing it without being controlling. And by mastering yourself and loving yourself and nurturing yourself, expanding yourself, you are going to attract 
the people in your life that are going to help you move forward with great joy in whatever relationship you're going to be having. Whether you're you're being you're in a breakup right now situation or you're having um, a difficult time with your significant other or a, a relationship in your family or your close friendships. You know, it's not about controlling others. It's a time to control ourselves now and really truly understanding ourselves and healing ourselves that's going to bring in beautiful new relationships and romantic um, relationships, friendships, um, and strengthening the friendships and relationships around us in the present. Not necessarily about new, because I'm not really seeing any new friendships per se, unless you get yourself out and expand yourself. And so, but doing the work of healing and understanding yourself when you're bringing new relationships into you, you don't want to do the same patterns that you have been doing um, and holding fear in your heart. Maybe you're having fear about meeting new people here because you your heart has been broken one too many times. Um, and with that song, Where Is My Love?, um, that heart is in need of healing and something that you can do is carry around some rose court with the intention of opening and healing your heart. Getting some energy work done as well might um, help heal that broken heart. Um, you know, afraid to open up, afraid of getting hurt again, perhaps for some of you. Okay, and then with that, I'm going to go ahead and do a <clears throat> Lover's Oracle. Spirit, can you give us a Lover's Oracle for my beautiful Scorpios? And we have this beautiful car, this sunny, um, she's like soaking in the energy of her, the solar plexus, that yellow burning um, inner power um, and healing. So I'm feeling that so much with this. So... Let's see what this card says. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So yes, working on that heart, even though this was about your solar plexus, um, there is a lot of heart energy going on in your reading here and healing that heart from, you know, like I said, there's that stagnation, maybe not feeling like yourself, not feeling like you can really openly love um, either yourself or others in your life right now. Um, and maybe you have been trying to express your love through control mechanisms, but really it's about mastering your own heart right now and healing any heartbreak that you have. By doing some maybe inner child work. Um, I will post some, um, you know, traumatic family, um, inner child um, trauma, ancestral trauma. I'm going to post a link to that so that you can check that out if that resonates for you. Um, the person that I'm going to be posting who, who does the inner child work has lots of videos. So if it's not resonating for you, maybe you can check out other things that he has done. But wonderful inner child work here, healing the heart. Um, sometimes we don't even realize what it is that is hurting us at the time because it's so deep within us that it's you just can't see it through the, through the shadow. Um, okay, my dear Scorpios. And with that... I am going to pick a card for your yes or no question. And the answer is no. So I'm not, I don't know what your question is, but sometimes it's hard to see that no come up. And I just want to give you, um, a little bit of solace with that, that if it's something that you were hoping was going to be a yes, there's a reason why spirit doesn't want you to 
go down that path right now because there's something more beautiful and more aligned with you than whatever that question was about. So when spirit says no to us, it's because they have something more beautiful and expansive and something beyond, you know, what you can think about now that is waiting for you. If we just make those steps to clear out any bad energy, any toxic energy, um, healing inner child and, um, just expanding ourselves and being in that energy, that more high vibrational energy of the divine right now. So, um, I'm just wishing you so much, have patience with this process, have patience with yourself. Things are starting to bloom for you in your life and you're going to have so much abundance of whatever it is you desire. If it's love, if it's money, if it's, um, just anything that you want, there is abundance and you have planted the seeds for this. Um, and you're going to get it by expanding yourself. This is happening for you. Okay. Keep your boundaries strong now and do the things that resonate within your heart when it comes to the people in your life. Um, especially. Okay, I'm wishing you so much love and light. If this resonated for you, please like and subscribe. Click the notifications bell. If you would like to receive um, my readings and have them pop up on your phone or your computer, then um, please do that. I'm wishing you the best in, in your summer energy. And um, I will see you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.